Okay, so I had um, had this recorded and submitted to Twitter to show kind of a couple of new workflows that I was looking at, um, specifically workflows related to um, BibFrame. Um, the uh, uh, Mark edits always included um, a big bid frame test bed um, for testing, moving um, data from Mark to bid frame using the uh, um, LC XSLTs um, that are generated. A um, couple small tweaks uh, so make them work with Mark edit. Um, the tools experimented a little bit with adding um, the uh, bib frame uh, translation uh, in uh, the drop down um, again using the XSLTs that uh, can be built um, from LC's GitHub again with a couple of small changes made so that they work with Mark Edit. Um, and so um, as more groups have um, started to look at how potentially uh, BibFrame can be integrated into existing workflows um, or creating records. Um, I started wanting to think about um, how individuals that uh, uh, potentially aren't part of those groups uh, work with those groups or thinking about how workflow may work um, in a potential um, future, what I would assume is hybrid environment um, where uh, you have um, groups that still are likely very mark dominated um, have to work with individuals that may be creating and sharing data in other formats. Um, and so part of what I wanted to start doing was thinking about how I start tying together some of these um, bits and pieces and bringing them into um, uh, mark edit um, as a way to facilitate um, editing. Again, thinking about batch editing. Um, kind of think of this as a first start, um, probably end up, we'll think about how um, there might be interfaces for um, doing more bib frame native work. But for now, this is kind of what I've been experimenting a little bit. So um, what I ended up doing was uh, inside the mark editor, well, let's start with options. Um, so when working with bib frame, there's a handful of uh, values that need to be set. Uh, so inside of here, um, these are set by default. So base URI is going to be the URI to your local system that's bib frame uh, specific. It's um, where the tool is going to point to um, for generating um, URIs and things like that that would be uh, created as part of the process. Um, ID field is used really for the generation of um, data to bib frame from Mark. Um, and then these are pathways to the XSLTs um, that are utilized. Um, these point to the XSLTs that have been generated um, from uh, LC's GitHub repositories. Uh, but in both cases, there are places for, for individuals to make changes, um, either through rules files or whatnot. Um, and so in this case, you could uh, change uh, the default uh, pathways that um, Mark Eddy uses and the integration components for, for doing those translations. So um, the idea here was to uh, just start thinking about how to make it easier to um, allow individuals to use all of the different parts of the program and output data in, into and out of, into and out of the frame. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and pull a record. Um, do some linked data stuff on it and then output the data as bib frame and then we'll pull it back in just so you can see the workflow. So um, I'll go ahead and uh, grab a record from uh, the Library of Congress. It really doesn't matter. We'll just grab uh, pretty much any record here. Um, all right, so we have uh, some 300 fields, all the big stuff there, a couple of subjects and an editor. So um, I'm gonna, just for the sake of clarity, so it's easier for me to see these, I'm gonna get rid of LC's 9XX data. All right, so the first thing we'll do, uh, mark edits included functionality for um, 
um, building call numbers if you didn't have them, but for establishing um, URIs, uh, URI data is um, generated through a rules file. Rules files um, live here. Um, they're basically built around um, translation of uh, mark tags, um, subfields that are used for lookup and uh, where those tags end up, the URIs end up going. Um, there are special vocabularies that should always be queried and where those subfields end up going. Um, so that rule file gets leveraged. Uh, you can leverage it inside of the uh, link data part here. You know, we can go ahead and just run that and let the tool go out. And essentially what it does is it reviews the data that's in the MARC record. And depending on um, subfield data and indicator data determines which um, vocabulary should be used for lookup. And as long as the vocabulary has been defined within um, the uh, rules file, the tool can pull those up. So we see the 3A information pulled. We see um, URIs generated for um, some of the data here. Um, this one, because it was fast, it pulls from the FAST database. Again, fast, fast. Um, this one goes to authorities and beyond. So um, we see that uh, data has been linked. Uh, the way the tool is linking is it's looking at the entire field. So it's not breaking them down to the sub uh, parts um, within the tool right now. So we've done our work. So now let's say we wanted to save this record out as um, bib frame. So inside of Mark Edit, there's um, a new option. So file, save as. Uh, we can select uh, bib frame 2.0 RDF. And we can go ahead and spit the file out. The program will then output the data um, in the RDF format. So we can take a quick look at that. Um, you use your XML editor of choice. Uh, Mark it has a lightweight one for doing work. So we can take a quick peek and see the data generated as part of the um, process. Um, let's say we wanted to take an RDF, uh, a bib frame record and bring it into Mark Edit for editing and maybe for output into a system that's not bib frame compliant or to save back as bib frame. So we can uh, go ahead and um, repull that record. So if we go to open, uh, we can select the file type as bib frame RDF. So the tool only works with RDF, uh, the RDF uh, XML format uh, for bib frame. And we can select that file and the file gets regenerated and pulled back in. Um, again, um, taking the data that was uh, generated in the bib frame file and outputting it back into Mark so that we can edit the record um, and then again, save it into whatever format that we wanted to save it. Um, so ideally, um, the process here, um, which is very lightweight and kind of like I said, a first step in thinking about how this might work within the tool, um, offers a way to um, integrate it into the application, a way to, to take data um, that's in the Bib frame RDF XML format and pull it into and out of um, that particular um, metadata scheme and into a format that then can be edited directly within Mark Edit and all of its tools and then resaved um, or compiled, depending on the option, into the various set of uh, data formats that needs to be output to. Um, like I said, first step, um, but we'll see um, where I end up going with this. Uh, and as I get feedback from folks uh, in terms of what this might look like uh, going forward. If you have questions, let me know.